Hi, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we add a drop shadow, that kind of retro 3D look to our type. So we're going to come up to the left-hand side here in Final Cut Pro. We're going to come into our titles and generators, and we're going to come down to our bumper and opener titles here. And we're basically looking for the, the basic title, and we're going to drag this down to our timeline, and essentially what we want to do is add in a quick title in here, and basically we're going to go down and just edit the type here. We're going to change it from Helvetica to Helvetica Bold. We're going to move down and make it all caps. We're going to make a cap size 100% of our text here. And what we're looking for here, we'll just make this a bit bigger, is to actually add a kind of drop shadow behind there, but not a soft drop shadow. We're going to add a hard drop shadow to this. So we'll scroll down and you can see we've got these options for our type. And when you see these first, they don't really have any options there. We're going to click this little show button and we'll scroll down a little bit more. And now we can turn on the drop shadow for this particular piece type. And you can see we've just got a little subtle drop shadow around the edge. So here we can adjust this. We can add some distance to that. That's starting to look quite nice. We can change the angle of it as well. So we can change where that kind of falls. And then we can also change the opacity of that drop shadow as well. So for instance, we could have some fun colors going on here. Let's create a nice blue to contrast with that. We'll blend that in with the brown in the background a little bit. And then we can also do this blur effect on our drop shadow as well. I think sometimes this sort of screen printed look looks quite nice as well. If we want to change the color of our type as well, we'll come up to face and we'll show that and then we can change the color of our type, find something that works nicely with these two colors. So we'll go for this almost off-white kind of yellow. And I'm just going to darken this up a little bit. Actually, we'll go for something that's got a bit more red and magenta in it just to drop behind there. And that's looking quite nice. So that's basically how to add a quick drop shadow um, to your type in Final Cut Pro. Obviously, we've got some other tools here for adding things like 3D type and outlines and glows as well. But I quite like this simple look for the drop shadow in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, then we can uncheck the drop shadow here. And if we come down to our drop shadow tool, so I'm going to go to all my video audio effects down at the bottom right, which is access using this button, then we can go to drop shadow and we can add that to our type as well. And we'll get some similar options here for the drop shadow. We'll come across to the video options. You can see, first of all, we can kind of move this around as we want. You can see if we turn the blur all the way down, we're going to get that same nice sharp effect. We'll add kind of a cool color there. And then we can also move this around here as well. Now with these options here, like the distance, we can actually keyframe these as well. So this is where it gets kind of interesting. So if I come to the beginning of my clip and I want to play in, but I want that drop shadow to kind of snap into my text, then I can keyframe the position here and then come back and then I'm going to drag this away. And then basically what we're going to get is this little animation of that type snapping into place. So if we right click here and show our video animation, you can see we can speed this up a little bit. And if we mix this with a fade in, so actually we're going to transition this in. So let's close our video animation. We'll come across to our transitions and we will come for a movement. So we'll use a slide movement here. And we'll adjust the, the length of this a little bit. So you can see now we're getting this slide in and we'll just adjust this. So we get this slide in and we get that drop shadow animating up as well. So actually I think that would be quite cool if we had those letters meet in the middle. So we'll have our slide coming across on the left and I'm going to show my video animation again. And this time we'll come to where the drop shadow starts. So you can see the, the option for moving around the drop shadow has disappeared here. So basically I'm gonna come up 
to my inspector, highlight that, and then I get that option back. So I'm going to push this all the way across to the right. So now we actually move this kind of off the canvas. Then you'll see So because we're sliding in from the left here, the drop shadow is kind of in the middle here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my drop shadow effect here and I'm going to turn the opacity of this all the way down. I'm going to turn on a keyframe first and then when we start to slide in from the right, I'm going to actually turn that opacity back on and we'll come up quite quickly with that to where we want it and so now what's going to happen is we'll get those letters joining together so a little bit of playing around with this and we can create some kind of cool transition effects with the built-in tools within Final Cut Pro. So there's a few different ways in which we can create drop shadows, start to think about animating effects with the tools that we have. Hopefully this is useful in your Final Cut Pro experimentation and exploration. If you have any questions, then please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.